What's the crack, lads? We are back. And we're going to be taking a look at the English League Player of the Season pack. And we're going to be doing a quick review on it. Endo, Gabriel, Rodri. Hope you guys are enjoying the Euros. Hope you guys haven't missed me too much. We are back. And we will be back streaming on Monday, of course, as well, which is tomorrow. But this is the Player of the Season pack. We'll be back with the webcam and the face cam and all that on our stream tomorrow. We have a couple of things to announce, a couple of things to get through. But just covering a lot of the content since I'm back. We did get married, obviously, a couple of days ago, so we'll fill you in and all of that as well. But yeah, listen, this pack here is pretty decent, man. It is pretty decent. Rodri, forget about what you have, man. Forget about it. If you're just judging these players on what they are, these are very good cards. There's very little weakness in these cards. Obviously, Rodri is going to have a speed and acceleration issue for this type of card. But because he's an anchor man, he's going to be sitting very deep. All you need is his awareness, his engagement, tackling, and his aggression to be over 90 or as high as, as it can be to 90. Kicking power is nice for the passing with the low pass over 85 as well. It's a very, very good card. He also has all the skills that you could possibly want, including one-touch pass, true passing, man marking, interception, blocker, and aerial superiority. He doesn't have weighted or low lofted pass, so that is obviously a bit of a downside and a downgrade from other Rodri cards. But yeah, it's definitely a good card as an anchorman. And Rodri's been one of these cards that I consistently go back to if I'm not playing with my super epic team with Rijkaard and the likes, right? We also have Pedro Neto here as well. Just a traditional winger. Good speed, acceleration, and balance. Bit let down to tight possession, so I wouldn't rate him as highly as other players, but he does have double touch, flip flap, and soul control, which means he has ball roll or special advanced double touch off the rip. Um, so yeah, that special animation for the double touch is going to be nice if you like to beat players out wide. If you, do, if you don't like playing out wide too much, you don't really need double touch or special double touch or advanced double touch or ball roll, whatever you guys call it. Uh, you can just use, you know, double touch, standard double touch. So I think if you're playing out wide, it definitely is an advantage. But yeah, I mean, not really much to get excited about here. The rest of his skills and stats are pretty, pretty okay. Lucas Paqueta. This guy is a classic number 10, very, very effective in that role. A lot of hole players in classic number 10s now are probably the main kind of source of treading balls through while also being able to shoot as well. With the manager boost, this guy is going to have plus 90 in ball control, dribbling, tight possession. And of course, he's also going to have plus 80 with speed, acceleration, kick and power, stamina, low pass and lofted pass. So it is a very nice card. Attack and awareness is going to be good as well. And his aggression is going to be over 75. Good skills as well. You've got soul control, flip flap and double touch for that advanced double touch. And of course you have Marseille turn long range shooting and curling. Acrobatic finishing but he doesn't have one touch pass which is a bit of a pity for classic number 10s. Switching it up with Gabriel as a 96 overall CB off the rip. He's obviously going to shoot up to around 100 overall with your manager boost and all the boosts that you do get. Speed is not going to get you know as high as Saliba or any of the other kind of uh, players that are kind of really dominant at CB now or any of the big epics. But for a destroyer, he's pretty decent with that acceleration uh, or sorry, with that physical contact and aggression. So yeah, I think it's definitely a good, it's a good card. It's kind of a more of a silky card. Heading one touch pass, way to pass man marking. And of course, air fighting spirit with blocker and area superiority. Pretty decent card. But you probably should have set, if you're not a newcomer at the game, you probably should have settled on your attacking um options and of course your center back your main center back destroyer if you are playing center back destroyers goalkeeper vicario has had a good season and you know i think he's probably due this this card it is a fairly decent card i won't get too much into it i won't waste too much time he's only got two skills any of the goalkeepers now that are over 190 cm are going to be pretty decent they all handle pretty much the same we also have gusto this guy is the defensive fullback, good speed, good acceleration, but let down by his defensive capabilities, even though he's a defensive fullback. It's a nice card if you're a Chelsea fan. He's got blocker as well, which is quite rare uh, for players that can play right midfielder and right back straight off the rip. Fighting spirit, pinpoint cross and soul control, man marking interception. Pretty decent. And finishing off the bottom list, right? So starting with Ross Barkley, who kind of revitalized his career. Looks to be getting another move away now back to his home club, I think. But he did have a good season. Speed. Uh, acceleration are pretty decent physical context pretty decent dribbling ball control type position okay as well and a lot of skills it's a fairly decent card doesn't have low off the pass or one touch pass but everything else is pretty decent there as well you've all obviously got Tarkowski this guy is a very good destroyer as well good defensive awareness tackling aggression and engagement speed lets him down slightly for a destroyer and of course he does have blocker interception and aerial superiority very good card if you're looking to play with Everton players we also have Pascal Gross box to box doesn't compare to any of the other box-to-box -box that are kind of attacking options. Um, I think he does have a lot of 
how would you say weaknesses for a you know end of season card uh, but he does have one touch pass first time shot it's an okay card if you are going to do uh, this pack you know because you can clear this pack you can clear this if you want to 20 players you can clear it we also have and i'll just go through this very quick endo endo's a very good anchorman you know similar to roger he's a bit a little bit more mobile a little bit more rapid his acceleration is really good his physical contact balance really good low pass type possession really good for an anchorman and of course, he's got defensive awareness, tackling, aggression, and defensive engagement really good. And he does have area superiority in heading because he does have that lack of height uh, for a center back or for a CMF or a DMF. You do need a little bit of skills to up his, uh, his you know, his stats or to overcompensate for his stats. Dallow, Gibbs, White, and Wissa. Wissa is just going to be your traditional goal poacher. Good speed, good acceleration, let down by his tight position and balance compared to other cards. Super sub does kind of rein it back a little bit. Gibbs, White have been better cards of Gibbs, White released. Obviously, you know, he's a pretty decent hole player. Just kind of an average everything. You know, he has interception as well, but one touch pass, first time shot, long range shooting and curling is pretty decent, weighted and true passing. He doesn't have low lofted, but I do like this card. I do think that he is kind of like a mid-game card uh, if you do get him. And then we have Dallow as well as a right back, attacking right back with pretty decent aggression. Not so bad, not so bad at all. Interception and blocker. So an attacking full back to have this that can play right mid, right back and left back. Very effective if you're looking to, to switch things up. Starting up here with Gordon and Watkins and, of course, Eze. Eze is a really good player, lads. Gordon, I think, is definitely going to be a pick if you want a prolific winger. But there's just so many good wingers now. Wing play is not really rewarded in this game. He's okay. I mean, he does have soul control, long-range curler, first-time shot, one-touch pass, true passing. It's a decent card. I mean, you've got speed, dribbling, balance is poor. That's probably the only thing that ties this away from other wingers. Ollie Watkins, then, as well as a goal poacher. Good speed, good acceleration, good finishing. All going to go where you need him to go. But yeah, he's not going to be end game. You know, he's not going to be end game. Can you have fun and score a lot of goals? Yes, sure. But you can do that with pretty much any center forward if you learn how to play the game mechanically. Eze, and then again, down as a whole player. I love this card. I think it's a phenomenal card. All his cards are really, really good. Double touch, flip flap, and soul control with one touch pass, first time shot, true pass, and outside curler, long range curling, and shooting. And of course, pinpoint crossing. His AI playing style, speeding bullet, amazing run. Are the pick of them absolutely fantastic i will do a video on that for efootball 2025 because we're going to switch things up a bit we'll get into that later on in the stream tomorrow ball control dribbling tight possession low pass finishing acceleration speed and balance exceptional card if you're really struggling with creating opportunities with a whole player this is the card that will turn it around for you if you want to just learn the game a lot uh, more easily if you are a newcomer. Then we have Solanke, McAtee, Robinson, and O'Shea. Not really to pick through here. Um, you know, as a goal poacher, fairly okay. I mean, kind of plays like a target man as well with that finishing and heading and physical and jumping stats. Pretty decent. Double touch heading, long range curler, one, th one touch pass, first time shot. An okay goal poacher, but not going to be compared. And again, we've got another creative playmaker, McAtee. Has had a good season as well. Balance, speed, acceleration. Just a little bit off where it needs to be. And of course, he doesn't uh, have that many skills as well that you know are unique to, uh, to any other winger or player that like that robinson then as well as an attack and full back pretty decent speed obviously an acceleration but again a couple of weaknesses there as well for the american man uh soul control true pass and pinpoint crossing and then the irishman o'shea to finish us off pretty decent uh destroyer boys obviously but doesn't have the speed or the acceleration for this position if you are looking for an end game doesn't have a real in-game face either which is a bit of a pity for a player to player to season uh player defensive awareness tackling aggression defensive engagement and physical contact are his strengths but he does have blocker in interception without having acrobatic clearance which is a bit of a pity but yeah all in all i think this is a good pack genuinely i think this is a fairly good pack if you are looking to you know i suppose maybe have a couple of options for you know eFootball 2025 to carry through and you're just looking to have some nice cards um if you are looking to have different types of cards and player of the season cards so yeah if they do bring in i think where a lot of these cards could come you know popular is if konami ever bring in a transfer market where a lot of these cards are rare if people have like multiple versions of rodri and they don't spin from it and then in like you know six months time or 12 months time they have a transfer market you can trade in rare cards you know and then they re-release them that could be when they do it so yeah let me know what you guys think of this pack did you spin or skip we're back we will have another couple of videos coming very soon and we'll be back streaming on monday as well don't forget to subscribe and of course smash the like button let me know if you miss me peace